Evik flagship products audio group Denmark on exclusive factory tour But this is of course bigger and heavier and there's room for more Tesla technology on the inside. Coil here, yeah. so yeah, in the front. Yeah. Final testing of the yeah. of the amplifiers. Um, so you can see this is a new I eight eighty. Amplifier. Let's be prepared for for shipping. You can see over here they do all the testing. Yeah, that that in the new cabinets we have we have made it all copper on the inside to avoid that the electronics is in contact with with aluminum. And and for us this is super important that. Uh, that we keep the aluminum away from the, the circuitry. So this is this is just in in production. And you also know of course how well built that is. So on these models we only have aluminum on the outside just for cooling. But you can see it's it's basically the same construction as the 880, where we have the, the copper chassis on the inside. Technologies here, like the Tesla, we also have these coils that we also have inside some of the swords. So it's it's some some of the same technology. Anti-aerial. Anti-aerial coils. Yeah, we use that across. Uh, we have that in Ansus. We have it in Navy. We even have it in access. We also use some of these technologies inside the the more expensive speakers. So the, the technologies are, are used across the, the four brands. More advanced version of the... You, you can see here, the, the this is where we have the this our own PCB with the streamer board on. All right. See you all. Yeah. I think this is a, yeah, there's a lot of, and you can a see here, great all, stuff all, all, the, all the PCBs we have here, they are manufactured here in Denmark at, at this sub-supplier. They do all the SMD mounting and everything for us. We don't do that so in-house, but it's done local. here locally. It's, it's only 20 kilometers. Where we have, where we have, uh, you know, our own main board here, and this is this is what what makes the big difference. It, it's how we how we integrate the power module with the rest of the amplifier. But you also can take care of it by putting a, a when you, when you put a, a different cabinet on top, you can maybe uh, avoid this. That our our equipment is legal, that, and uh, that we comply with all the safety standards and oh, all the emission standards. So that's that's a tough job. Needs a lot of tests and measurements. Uh, and if we go when we wanted to have the access amplifier, the idea was to to have it all built in to design it here, make the first copies here, and then have it made in China. But uh, we, after looking into cost and quality, we, we, we found out that we can do it just as cheap here 
as we could in China. So, so we said, of course, here. we are doing it here. This it, so axis it, right it, now it's produced a, here. It's and only parts arrive from yeah. China. No, I mean, no. Uh, actually, I mean parts for axis arrive. Right. Maybe we buy the PCB boards, but but nothing finalized from China. All right. From the but the, but it's all assembled here in Denmark, including the PCB. Is it your place too? No. Yeah. All over the place. All over the place. <laughs> yeah. You have uh, different streamer boards for access of access all this uh, same streamer board. Uh, we use this board also in the in the AVIC streamers. And AVIC streamers in uh, yeah. 188? Yes, yes. 880? Yes. Yeah, it's, 880 it's the also. same basic board, it's just different implementation. So, all right. So you can see there's, there's room for it there in the middle. Yeah. Amplifier main bar. Yeah. 